Hi and welcome back. So a new study out of the University of Columbia has shown that aging can be delayed by 12% when you supplement with this ironically named non-essential amino acid. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this study of the University of Columbia has got to offer. This is a review of a piece I read that was penned by Rebecca Dyer, where she covers a study that was conducted at the University of Columbia and published in the journal Science, which shows that deficiency in one specific amino acid does actually accelerate the pace of aging. And there are links in the description below to the studies and to the articles I used to put this presentation together. Researchers have discovered that animals age more quickly when they don't have enough of the amino acid taurine in their body and that taurine supplementation can delay aging and increase a healthy lifespan. An international team of researchers found that taurine supplements delayed aging in worms, mice and monkeys and increased the healthy lifespan of middle-aged mice by up to 12%. Vijay Yadav, an assistant professor of genetics and development at Columbia University's Vagilis College of Physicians and Surgeons and senior author of the study said, for the last 25 years, researchers have been trying to find factors that not only let us live longer, but also increase health span, the time we remain healthy in our old age. This study implies that taurine could be an elixir of life within us that helps us live longer and healthier lives. Taurine is found naturally in meat, fish and dairy products, but not very often in plants. Humans can synthesize taurine, although nutritional sources are often necessary during early life because newborns are not skilled at producing it. Research on taurine has shown benefits for diabetes and as an antioxidant, but its role in many cases is still very unclear. Professor Yadav stated, we realized that if taurine is regulating all these processes that decline with age, maybe taurine levels in the bloodstream affect overall health and lifespan. We started to ask if taurine deficiency is a driver of the aging process, and we set up a large experiment with mice. However, these studies were not just conducted on mice. Professor Yadav and his colleagues analyzed taurine concentrations in the blood at varying ages in monkeys and in humans too. For the human study, they did use data from another study. Taurine levels were found to decrease with age in a variety of species, including the humans. This decrease was estimated at 80% over the course of the average human lifespan. When the taurine supplements were given to middle-aged worms, their median lifespan increased by between 10 and 23%. And when they were given to mice, their lifespan increased by between 10 and 12%. Now that was just improvements in lifespan. During the study, the researchers recorded other very important improvements in both mice and in monkeys. Other benefits that were seen in the mice and in the monkeys as a result of taurine supplementation were, in mice, taurine supplementation improves strength, coordination, memory, and aging markers. Mice who were missing the main transporter that takes the amino acid taurine into their cells did live shorter lives as adults. When taurine was given to middle-aged rhesus macaques for six months, there were noticeable improvements in their bone density, their blood sugar levels, and markers of their liver and immune function. Professor Yadav noted that not only did we find that animals lived longer, but we also found that they were living healthier lives. The analysis also showed that people with obesity and diabetes had lower levels of taurine in their blood, while people who exercised had higher levels. A simplified diagram provided by the Columbia University Irving Medical Center shows how taurine supplementation makes animals healthier and allows them to live longer. They show the only thing missing at the moment is randomized clinical trials 
in humans. Professor Henning Wackerager from the Department of Sport and Health Sciences at the Technical University of Munich said, this is interesting to us because this might explain part of the health benefits of exercise and of the anti-aging effects in that taurine appeared to affect all of the established hallmarks of aging. Physiologists Joseph McGorn and Joseph Bauer from the University of Pennsylvania, who were not involved in the study, but who did write in a separate article, said notably causality remains to be tested. In the article, they also state that taurine is widely supplemented in baby formula and in energy drinks without significant suggested risk. But it's important to consider potential risks and interactions. Large, long-term human randomized controlled trials are needed. And although no toxic effects are known to be associated with taurine, the doses used in this study have rarely been used in humans before. Incredible advancements in medical science mean we are living longer, but increasingly quality of life for people is very important too. Researchers have previously found clues to aging gracefully in telomeres and in fecal transplants. And now taurine is starting to look very promising indeed. Professor Yadav closed by saying, although it's difficult to say at the present time, whether taurine supplementation is going to be an anti-aging therapy based on our studies and our intervention in monkeys, it's reasonable to continue testing. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, I think with a few more studies, whether that be animal or human, I would definitely look into adding this to my supplement stack, especially if one of the big three started to carry it. Let me know in the comments of the YouTube video, um, do you already supplement with taurine and have you seen any potential benefits or have you seen some side effects? I'd be interested to see what you've got to say. So these studies were in worms, mice and monkeys, but remember when it comes to longevity, remember what Andrew Huberman said. Just to take a step back, I know a lot of people out there, are like if there isn't a double blind placebo controlled trial, you know, random, random trial, then why would you ever take something? And then there are a lot of people like David or me or a lot of people out there who think, well, if there are some mouse data or something safe, why wouldn't I try? Right? Because when it comes to longevity, nobody wants to be in the control group. 